hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm azra if you're new here hi but today i really wanted to do an eid look for you guys i'm really excited about eid and obviously you know considering the situation eid will be a little bit different this year which is sad and unfortunate but you know it doesn't mean we can't like dress up and get glammed up and you know have a nice time at home with your family so i just really wanted to do a nice like traditional really glammed up eid look and i was thinking about gold tones and for me that's really like that's eid for me like gold gold eyeshadow nice highlighters just really like out there what i really want to do with you guys today and i'm going to be using two eyeshadow palettes that i like learned to do eyeshadow with really so i'm going to be using model renaissance because honestly guys that was this palette was where i learned how to blend eyeshadow like different types of like how to create a look really is this was the palette i used it was the first big palette i invested and it was like 40 pounds and i was like you know what i'll do it the second palette i want to use is my jacqueline hill morphe palette um i know she has a few i'll show you guys um this one and I love I love this palette so much it just has all the right colors you've got your brights you've got your pinks you've got your neutral colors you've got your your dark nudes I just really, really love this palette and I feel like it'll be a good palette in combo to use for um for creating this eat look so guys I've already prepped my face I've already toner serum moisturizer I've even put a bit of SPF on um and that's all tropic skincare stuff so it's a tropic abc products which i've mentioned in another video where you can check that out i'm just gonna go in i think and start with my eyes i really i think in this case starting with eyes is probably better because i feel like you'll have a lot of fall off and then you can just wipe it all off later on so yeah i'm going to start with my eyes i'm just going to be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette first. I'm gonna start creating a base. Um, that's really what I wanna do is create a nice nude base, you know, with the browns and just brown tones, nude tones, just so that the gold blends in really well. I'll be going between this palette and the Jaclyn Hill palette, but obviously I'll walk you guys through it. I like to go in with this like very white color here, just cause I really wanna give myself a nude base which would be good because it will help me blend my colors in better so we're just gonna go in here i'm just gonna put it all over my lid i kind of use this like a just like a primer or like concealer over your eyes i kind of want to go in i'm gonna work our way in so we're gonna go with this lighter lighter brown shade first brown here as you can see the browns are getting deeper as we go along and really blend it in with your crease that's what i like to do anyway and now we're going to go with this one here what's that burnt orange so we started off with tempera golden ultra raw sienna and now we're going to go with burnt orange just because I feel like it will brighten it up just the slightest. I did really want to go back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I think I'm going to use this nice shade here. It's really nice and subtle, like a really subtle like brown. I feel like it will blend really well. This one here just to just to bring out the ends of my eyes a little bit more so then i want to kind of go in with this nice like champagne color here to put on top of all that i've blended so far i'm just gonna go right here can you see that nice now then we're going to go with the 
this gold here. That's a really nice gold. I'm just gonna go into the corner of the eyes. Then we're gonna go back in with that champagne color. It's not even champagne, it's just like a, a brownie champagne color. Just to blend with the gold again. And then just on top of this gold, I really wanna go with the, what shade is this? Primavera. Just cause it's Eve and you really want your gold look to stand out. We're just gonna put that on. I just forgot to put on my primer before I start with my eyes anyway. So I'm just gonna go in with the Glow Cherie L'Oreal. It just gives like a really natural glow. On a bit. Here and here. It's Eve, you wanna be glowing on Eve. Who doesn't? my true match foundation by l'oreal i love this foundation it's just matches my skin tone so perfectly i'm just gonna go over with my true match um concealer again just because they work really well together they match really nicely in and i just kind of want to go in really quickly with back into my anastasia beverly hills palette and i want to use the venetian red do i venetian red or love letter do you know what we can blend the two together and i just want to go on my bottom lash line. So before I do my eyeliner, I'm just gonna set my face with the Can't Stop Won't Stop NYX setting powder in the shade Banana, I believe it is. I don't usually set my face very often, guys. I just feel like it's just too much sometimes, personally, anyway. Eyeliner and it's the NYX Matte Eyeliner. And now I'm just going to go with my Kiko Milano darker black is volume color intensifier mascara this mascara is super intensifying um i do love their mascaras a lot but i feel like this is a good look to do something dramatic with <laughs> Cool, cool. That like felt like it took a billion years just to sort out with my line off. Then I go in and contour. It's the Rimmel Insta Duo contour. So I like never contour my nose guys it's just like i don't know i just never contour my nose i never feel the need to contour my nose so i just don't do it my baby hairs are crazy by the way there's nothing that can hold them back the other thing i don't do is i just don't fill out my brows i don't do my brows um just because i just never feel the need to do them ever and i just never do them i don't know if that's like noticeable but i just the only bit like i don't dead them and I don't fill them when I do my makeup. I only ever like do the middle. Everyone does the middle. And I never put on fake lashes. I just never, 
first of all guys i can't put on fake lashes and secondly i just feel like they don't suit me very much i've worn them once and that's literally because my best friend put them on me but i've never I, I can't do them i just don't put them on not even for anything like like a big event i just won't put on lashes a few little fun facts about me quickly just to highlight the inner corners of my eyes i'm gonna just put a bit of that in the corner <laughs> and do some blush now with the revolution makeup uh blush palette i got this palette like years ago i've rarely ever used it this pink as well just to give a little bit of color <laughs> <laughs> then I want to go in with the Revolution Pro. It's like a bronzer slash highlighter. It says highlighter on the back, but I feel like it could be used more as bronzer. First time using this, so I'm gonna use this to highlight me. Highlight. I'm just gonna. Well, it's actually quite nice. Super subtle, guys. It's very, it's very light. It's not like a very heavy. If that makes sense, like a heavy highlight. my lips i'm gonna do something i want to do something quite bold just because i feel like i've got gold on i really want like a really popping lip color so i'm gonna go in with this nyx uh side on glide on pencil in the shade what shade is this i think it's intimidate and i'm just gonna line my lips With this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Budapest. Um, I really like this lip colour. I just feel like it's gonna match the pinks on my on my Eve dress. Originally I really wanted to do a red lip with this look, but it's just my the colours on my e clothes are stuff that I wanted to incorporate in this look as well, so I kind of wanted to meet in the middle and i'm gonna use this kiko pro revolution lip gloss it's a nice red and i feel like it'll be really nice to add on top of this i hope you guys enjoyed this eid look i done i really love how this actually turned out i was really nervous i was like oh it's not gonna turn out great it's gonna be a disaster and to be honest the way i i done this look is just me going back and forth between things and thinking about things to add into this look i'm really really happy with it and i hope you guys are too this has been really really fun i was really anxious about doing an eid look just because there's this i've just seen so many amazing e-looks all over the, the gram and just everywhere and everyone's doing a great job and i just really wanted to join the hype and um give it a go you know i really had a lot of fun if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you if you liked it so much and you you tried it leave a comment leave a comment of any other looks you want to see i had really fun doing i had a lot of fun doing this and if you don't want to miss my next video i think you should subscribe and hit the bell button because come on guys you don't want to miss this face <laughs> thanks so much for watching follow me on instagram it's in my youtube link i'll link it down there as well stay safe guys and i hope you have a great eid i hope you guys look flawless because i want you guys to look flawless and yeah just you know have a great time and stay safe bye <laughs>